What is chi in Igbo cosmology? Kedi Ibu chi na odinani no mena ni Igbo. Now, the ancient Igbo, Ndibo said that, Onye nyobe mo ofuchia. This means that whoever prized the supreme spirit or tries to see or know the creator will eventually encounter and come face to face with his or her chi. Now, hello, beautiful people. I found this video and I couldn't help but share it with you. This is coming from the voice of the sun teaching about chi in Igbo cosmology. Watch indeed, and learn. Chi comes first in our interactions with the universe and the creation around us. And that is why we say chi bo uzo. Chi bo uzo. It's true, Kandune Soko, and I would like to welcome you to another interesting and educative episode at Voice of the Sun. Today, I will be speaking on the concept of chi in Igbo cosmology, in ordinary nomen and Igbo. Now, there are two distinct meanings of chi, of the word chi in Igbo cosmology and worldview. The first, translation and meaning, are that chi represents our soul, is our spirit double, is our personal spirit, providence, is our energy the life force or the driving force now for us in the ego chi is the foundation of our existence and connection to creation and so our ancestors said that chi which means that the chi exists now the second meaning of chi is day or daylight which is signaled by the rising of the sun and in this second meaning ndibo used the word chi to refer to the transitional periods between the day and the night and you see this in our language when we say Chio Jiji and Chio Fufo, which is nightfall and daybreak. Now, to understand the meaning, the origin, and the essence of Chi in Igbo Ojin and Inomenani is to basically attempt to unravel the mystery, which is Chuku, the benevolent creator. Now, this is a feat that our noble ancestors have attained, for the concept of the Chi in human life and existence is woven deeply into the very fabric of Igbo spirituality, cosmology, and worldview. Now, let me give a brief definition of Chi and then expand on the various aspects of that definition as captured in the wisdom and belief of our ancestors. Now, Chi, according to Ndi Igbo, and our understanding of the universe can be said to be a collection of all the divine sparks of the Supreme Creator and the Supreme Spirit, who is Chuku that takes human form and then dwells in the personal life of each human being for the purpose of spiritual training, control, purification, guidance, judgment, and power. Now, the chi can be referred to as a personal god or goddess or a personal deity. Now, the chi embodies our individuality where no two people are the same, you know, and this is embodied in the Igbo saying, Onye, Nachia, meaning one and his or her chi, or one and his or her personal connection to Chuku, the creator. Now, Ndibo, our ancestors, in defining the source of all things good or bad in a person's life, named their children names like Ife Sinachi, meaning things come from the chi. Now, this clearly shows that the chi is the ultimate provider for us in our life journey here on earth. Now, and to further buttress the meaning of chi, of Ife Sinachi, we believe that the spark of Chuku that provides for a man is different from that same, this, the spark that provides for his father, his son, his mother, his sister, or any member of his family. And as such, our ancient ancestors who passed down ordinary to us, they maintained that Chia Wotu or Chia Botu, which means that the Chi is not the same for each and every one of us. Now, let us discuss Chi in the Igbo name. Of the creator known as Chineke. Now, we Igbo and even the Igbo, we believe in the creator of the universe, who we call Chuku, which is a mixture of two words, Chi and Uku. Now, Chuku means the great Chi or the big Chi. And now this shows that Chi for us in the Igbo represents the creative force 
of the universe. And that we all carry smaller versions of, you know, the supreme chi, who is Chuku. Now, this concept and belief in chi remains dominant in the name Chineki. However, this meaning of this, the meaning in this second name Chineki, which is a combination of two words, chi and eke, with a conjunction na, is quite unique and it represents the two sides or the two force, the two sides of the force of creation. Now, although most of us modern Igbo people believe that Chineke means God the Creator, it has a deeper meaning found in Ordinary Momenani, you know, as against um, a shallow translation of Chineke to God the Creator done by the early missionaries and their converts. Now, in Ordinary Momenani, we believe that Chi na Eke, Chineke, are a duality that represents the creative and distributive force of Chuku. Now, this is where we say chi is the male energy, while eke is the female energy. Both of them are signed by chuku to distribute our shares to us in each life cycle from birth till death as we walk through the earth, our life journey here. Now, chi is basically our life force, our soul, our spirit double, personal spirit that connects us to chuku, while eke is the sharer, distributor, and the giver that is in charge of apportioning our gifts, destinies, fortunes, and misfortunes in life. Now, without Eke, the Chi cannot function. And without Chineke, Anibundibo, man cannot reach Chuku to manifest his or her destiny. Now, Eke in some parts of Igbo land is used to replace the word Chi, although it is not common in this our generation. You know, but we see Eke in certain names and expressions. Now, let's, let's, let's look at them. Now, in the places where Eke is seen in Igbo cosmology and worldview, it replaces Chi effortlessly. An example is Chi Mwoba, which means that Chi holds or, or, or possesses increase. And in this instance, we see Eke replacing Chi in a similar name, Eke Jioba, meaning Eke possesses or holds increase. We also see this in the name Nebechi, which means look to the Chi which has Eke replacing Chi in the name Lemeke or Leweke. Now, according to Chi Noa Achebe, in his essay, Chi in Igbo Cosmology, the Chi versions of these names occur more in the northern and western parts of our land, Igbo land, while the Eke versions are usually used more in the southern and eastern parts of Igbo land. Now, Eke, as part of the Chi, is also called Aka in many parts of Igbo land. We hear it in sayings like, in a akag, meaning you are insulting your chi and your aka. Now, the aka here replaces eke in this statement. You used to call a man or a woman to order when they are being disrespectful to elders or speak out of line to other people. Now, to drive home the meaning of chi na eke fondibo, a story is told about the hen. Now, the ever busy hen was asked why she scratched the ground for food from daybreak to sunset without ever being satisfied. Now, in her response, the humble hen said, You see, my dear fellow, when I wake up in the morning, I begin to look for food for my chi. When I am through with that, I must then find some food for my eke. By the time I finish with that too, it's almost sunset, you know, and I haven't catered for myself. Now, from the folklore above, it is evident that Ndibo accepted and enunciated the relationship and dual responsibilities shared between Chi and Eke, both deities manifesting the male and the female sides of Chuku's creative force. Now, let us look at the relationship between Chi as our soul and then Chi as daylight in Igbo Ordinary, while pinpointing the realm or the dwelling place of the Chi in Igbo cosmology. Now, the ancient Igbo, Ndibo, in their wisdom and understanding of creation had the same name for our souls, Chi, and also Daylight Chi, which accompanies the rising of the sun, Anyang. And so also, in the practice of Ordinani, Ndibo designated the sun as the dwelling place and ultimate source of the Chi. Now, they believe that the sun is the medium through which our individual Chi enters our world to take on Anuaru, which is a body that covers our spirit. We see this in the practice and in the belief of um, Ido to Chi, which means installing your Chi. 
which is the physical installation of a man's chief. Now, this happens when a man comes of age in many parts of Igbo land. He is expected to physically invite his chi into his home by setting up a shrine dedicated to the complete communication with his chi. Now, he will invite a dibia to perform the rituals of idotuchi, which is bringing down the chi from the face of the sun, you know, at daybreak. Now, the chi is invoked into the open chi and will remain in the man's compound until the day of his death, when the shrine must be destroyed. 